What's up everybody, J Knight Tech Reviews here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a little computer setup that I made with a graphics card and a laptop. Now you're not supposed to be able to do this. However, I did. It was a long, arduous process, but before we get into that, thanks for all the support on the channel recently, and you, you should keep subscribing, because that's what cool people do, and it's free, it's free. So anyway, let's get right into it, and I'm going to explain how I somehow put this uh, Fire Pro 3D Graphics uh, V500 into this random Toshiba satellite laptop that I got a while back. So the reason all this started is because on AliExpress, I saw a mining card adapter, which is down here, it's that one on sale for like five bucks or something. So I bought it and I'm like, well, anyway, it was the right slot. So I ran that and then stuck a graphics card in there to see, well, maybe it will output to a monitor. Well, long story short, I did get it working. So I'm gonna turn it on and just show it to you right now. So in order to turn the computer on, there was two things I need to do to make it work with the graphics card. First of all, I had to remove the Wi-Fi card, which you can just see kind of dangling out right there to focus. So first I had to remove the Wi-Fi card, which is kind of dangling off right there, just kind of doing its thing. Then I had to find a way to trick a power supply into powering a graphics card, because normally they won't just power a graphics card by themselves. They need like a motherboard. Oh, what's this? I had an old motherboard lying around. I was gonna throw it out because it has a dead IDE controller, I'm pretty sure. And if it doesn't, I just don't know what I'm doing with it, which is equally as likely. So with this power supply, it's like the only spare one I have. And I ended up using the 20 pin just run to the motherboard and then use the Molex to power the PCI adapter. And that's another good thing about the V5800 Pro is that it just doesn't require any extra power. No four pins, no six pins or eight pins. I mean, the only downside is that it doesn't have the bracket and the, D and the DVI port was kind of messed up but i did fix it and that's why i got it for like 15 dollars so currently i got the monitor plugged in all the peripherals and such but now we're gonna plug in the power supply and you're gonna see what happens now the laptop isn't on yet okay so when you go to plug in the power supply like so it does this it just spins the fan now in terms of the motherboard i just i don't really care about it at all so that's being passively cooled by a um, crappy copper heatsink and there's no thermal paste on the pentium 4 inside so i'm just gonna kind of run it until it dies so now we're gonna boot the laptop which you just do as normally, like you just kind of hit the power button. I, but okay, now it wants to cool down. Thank you for not being so freaking loud. Yeah, so the laptop just kind of boots normally. See, and it boots to that screen because I got it going through the graphics card into this screen. So originally what I was hoping to accomplish with the whole graphics card into a laptop thing was that I could game on a monitor because in this laptop, the graphics uh, chip is a bottleneck of the system, I believe. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, I just wanted to stick a desktop GPU in there, which I did. So I'm like, okay, it may increase gaming performance. And the performance got worse. Oh my God, it is so much worse. Even with the drivers installed via that little USB boy, the, 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 the performance is so bad. It's terrible. It can barely run Windows. It can't launch any games except Doom 2. It did launch Doom 2 because you can run Doom 2 on like a Samsung refrigerator, okay? So I got the mouse plugged in there. So we have the keyboard and the mouse running through a USB hub. I don't, the mouse was plugged in here all the time. Get, we get two mice. Uh, and then this is where how I installed the drivers. That didn't work, but we'll get right into this. So I didn't install this OS. I kind of found the laptop like this from the garbage. Let's gonna cancel that and we're loading into Windows. Now you're gonna notice something about this immediately. Actually not immediately because it takes a while for it to just like live. So let's say we wanna launch Firefox, which like nobody, nobody uses Fire. I don't know who uses Firefox. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna make it not full screen. We're gonna make it not, hello? Okay, drag the window around. Oh, wait a second. That looks like crap, it's ghosting. The graphics card cannot figure out what it's doing. It's terrible. So we're gonna go to the device manager and see what's up, even if it's even detecting the card. We don't even know at this part. Device manager, boom, right there. So we're gonna head on over to device manager and then click on the display adapters. And we got the crappy integrated Intel 945 Express graphics and standard VGA graphics driver. That's this. Now, fun fact, this card doesn't even have VGA. So we're gonna close this and then we're gonna go over by hitting w Windows E, we're gonna go to our drivers over here. All right, so I found the drivers. So how about we go uh, install them and see if that fixes our issue of the terrible performance in just Windows alone. Because if you don't have the right drivers, it's not gonna run properly. So how about we go do this, not a touch screen. How about we go do that, yeah. Now this takes a while, so I'll get back to you when it's done. Hey, see, it actually starts to install. And during the installation process, it actually comes up as a V5 800. So it is being properly recognized by the system. So we're gonna do the express installation of the drivers and just head on over, hit next, and then accept, and then bada bing bada boom. 
So for the drivers, I'm gonna set you up with a nice time lapse as soon as I find my the tripod's right here. Let's get right into it, boys and girls. Whatever you are, subscribe to the channel. installing the graphics drivers isn't that awesome so we're gonna hit finish now you'll see here it says that you need to restart for it to work you need to restart for it to finish okay jesus christ i'm just gonna hold the crappy freaking tripod so we're gonna hit no because we can't do that yet why is everything so Getting dark! So now we go into device manager, display adapters, and it says V5800. Hey, guess what? That's what we have installed! That's awesome! So that means that the drivers actually work. So we're so we're gonna take a look at the performance after the drivers have been installed, but they're not fully installed yet because you gotta restart. However, there's an issue when you go to restart. So how about we try to run some games on this bad boy? So we're gonna go to all the games I paid for. All right, so the first game we're gonna try to run is Call of Duty 2. Okay, look at that, Call of Duty 2. Uh-oh, DirectX isn't working. Well, that's not good. How about we try a different game? Far Cry. Far Cry is a really easy game to run. All right, it never launches, just like last time and the time before. So how about we try a different game to run? How about we try Grand Theft Auto 3? I have a feeling maybe this will tell us what the issue is with our uh, graphics card setup. Oh, wait a second! <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 3 requires at least 12 megabytes of available video memory. Dang, I don't think we meet those require- Oh wait, we do. This card has a gigabyte of GDDR5 VRAM. And it's not detecting- Oh, what the f- So I'm pretty sure our graphics card has 12 megabytes of VRAM. And it's just not detecting any of it with the current drivers or anything. But I did this test even without the drivers installed and it was the same issue. The same, same errors. Game's not launching. Games weren't launching with or without the drivers, quote unquote, not installed. But I need to restart the computer in order to fully install it. So how about we go do that now and we restart the computer. Now, there's an issue with this. There's a reason why you don't do this, bucko, is because this isn't even supposed to be in there in the first place and it hates it when you restart the computer. Anyway, long story short, it just says like there's like a window error and it's gotta restore and it's screwed up and I've tried everything to get it to work, different di di different system restore points. But basically every time you get back into Windows and you get it working, it just has the drivers uninstalled and it's once again recognized as a VGA device. There we go, it's screwed. All right, so it's either launch setup repair or start Windows normally. You go to start Windows normally, it just says it's broken and it gives, it gives you the blue screen and then back to this screen. So we gotta do startup repair. So when you do startup repair, it like repairs your computer, but actually all it does is remove the drivers and all the effects they had and basically, it's just still screwed up either way. You can't really get this running in that laptop. Also, if you don't hit restore and you hit cancel, it just like totally screws up everything. Now, I tried to do a few different benchmarks in this computer uh, off camera, and these were the results we got. So with the drivers half installed, as in meaning like before I restarted the computer, but I already ran the EXE, uh, 3D Mark just didn't find any compatible hardware. Uh, the V5800 was being recognized as a V5800, which is what's supposed to happen. Now, Far Cry 1 wouldn't launch, GC San Andreas wouldn't launch, GTA 3 gave us the same um, error, and and Doom 2, well, it ran. What, what else did you expect? I mean, it's Doom 2, it could run on everything. But with the drivers not installed and just playing with standard VGA graphics card drivers, everything was essentially the same. But look at that, we're back in the windows after everything that's happened with this computer. Unexpected shut, shut up. You literally destroyed the drivers. So when we go back to device manager. So now we're in device manager, we go back to display drivers. Oh, oh, look at that. Standard VGA graphics adapter. And the performance is still the same, but technically we didn't make the computer totally useless uh, because we can still run Doom 2 on this system. Okay, so while we finish up the video, how about we play a little bit of Doom 2? So what I've learned from this experience basically is that this just doesn't work under really any circumstance. In fact, this is one of like the worst performing Doom 2 experiences out of like all of them that I've ever had. Like, hey, you know, after you gotta kill these guys, when you look left and, like, the frame rate is so terrible, just like turning in circles. Like, since when does Doom 2 perform so bad on a one gigabyte graphics card? It's just not detecting the VRAM. I don't know what's really up with it. However, I couldn't get this to work. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below. We'll try to get it working together as a community. Yeah, but technically I did get it working. I did get it running correctly, albeit not well. And actually like a substantial performance loss. A lot of the games didn't work. Nothing really worked. This was essentially... 
this stupid sh Get out of here! Go! You! Now, what have you learned from this experience is that a desktop graphics card doesn't really work in a laptop. There are other means of doing it. Random Gaming in HD, I know for one, has done it. Uh, I think Low Spec Gamer did it too. A couple other YouTubers that are just smarter than me that have the higher budget than freaking $5 off of AliExpress. But this is what I got working. If anything, it performs worse. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this, and it's not worth your time. It's not worth my time. It's not worth anyone's time. However, I wasted my time for you, so you should leave a like on the video and also subscribe because it's free and smart people like free things. And one last thing before we go, do you want exclusive videos and unreleased footage with a behind the scenes look into the channel? Well, then you should join the Discord, link in the description. Regardless, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, please leave a comment below because interactions with the viewers will help boost this video in the YouTube algorithm and I guarantee that I'll respond to your comments. While you're at it, please subscribe because it helps a lot in video quality and, 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 and production also positively affects my day. Finally, leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below, and have a great day. Bye.